Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. May the Lord bless you. May you be blessed in the land of the living. I pray for you, my subscribers, my viewers. May the good Lord be with you and guide you and protect you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today's Bible lesson is taken from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, from verse 1 to 12. Hebrews, chapter 11, from verse 1 to 12. I read, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Through faith we understand that the walls we are framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen we are not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gift, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because of God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he commanded the word, and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which has foundations, those builder and maker is God. Through faith also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky, a multitude as the sand which is by the sea, shone innumerable. Praise the Lord. What we are discussing today is faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Our maker, he is our father. We must trust in him. We have read about the men of the old. What faith helped them to do? For example, you might have heard about Abraham and his wife. Their age, this couple, they don't have children, but they always believe in Jesus Christ. They always believe in Jehovah, that he will make a way for them where there is no way. Where is your faith now? Why are you crying? Where is your faith, child of God? Use your faith today to obtain from our Father in heaven. Whatever you need, whatever you are, that is disturbing you, as long as you're praying to God Almighty, hold on for Jesus. He will make a way for you where there is no way. Now, in verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When you have faith in God, and you believe that Jesus Christ will help you. You have faith. You have not seen it. And as you have faith, Almighty God will bless you in anything you are hoping for. In Jesus' name. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Yes. Like a woman that is hoping to have a child. 
When you have faith that Jesus Christ will give you a child, you will continue praying. You will continue having a relationship with Jesus Christ. One day, God will do it. Because our Heavenly Father cannot promise without doing it. Through faith, we understand that the worlds we are framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen, we are not made of things, we do appear. In everything is faith. We that read the word of God, we believe that all these things we are reading in the word of God is truth and it's, and it's helping us. This is why as a child of God, I always read my Bible so I can know what our Heavenly Father has done and apply it in my own life and it works for me. Amen. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. What do you offer to God? When you are giving your offering, when you want to give, give something to somebody, give it with a good heart. Because our Heavenly Father watches your heart. It does not look at your faith. It does not look at you. It does not look at your face, but He looks in your heart. Your heart is very important to God. So your faith in God will save you. Amen? Amen. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Yes, that was in the Bible. But it can also happen now. We hear stories. We hear stories that something that happened, like I hear a story of a man that he died. About to bury him, he woke up. I heard that story. The man started telling us so many things he saw. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we believe him. And again, he's telling us to do right thing as children of God. We should trust God. We should believe in God. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith by faith that you have in Jesus Christ almighty God will establish his word in your life trust God in everything you want be prayerful at all times Believe that this prayer you are ushering on to God, that he will make a way for you. Don't backslide as a child of God. Continue worshiping God. Continue believing in him. He will make a way for you where there is no way. Our Father will not promise you and he will not do it for you. Whatever God has said, that will happen in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Through faith, we understand that the walls we are framed. That is a very big thing. The faith we have in Jesus Christ. We believe in him. So we should not doubt. When you put doubt in your life, things will become bad for you. Child of God, move on with God. Trust in God. Pray at all times. Don't stop praying. Don't stop believing in Jesus Christ. He will make a way for you. Amen. Trust in Him. Always have confidence in Jesus Christ. Trust Him at all times in your life. Do not look back because Jesus Christ is the truth. He is the way and He is the life. He will always give you as your heart desire. Do not weep. Always keep on praying. Wait on God. He will make a way. And everything that has started now, that is disturbing you, one day it will end. It will not be forever. Whatever children of God we are going through, one day it will end. Is this sickness? One day that sickness will leave you. And you will be okay in the name of Jesus Christ. That suffering will end one day. And our Heavenly Father will give you your own child. He will give you your own husband. He will make a way in your life. Everything you are looking for, Almighty God will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. So, child of God, 
trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Put all your faith in him and he is your savior. He will make a way for you in Jesus' mighty name. In amen and amen.